Next up from New York, the electrifying band from Ireland called U2, now completing a tour of the United States, where their first album, Boy, has been a critical success. Uh, please welcome U2 and the big single off their album entitled I Will Follow. Here is U2. <laughs> Was it planned for you to go up the stairs like that? Because usually our camera crews get very nervous when guys step out of the light. We can't see you when you're not in the light. May I introduce to you two of the gentlemen from U2. This is Bono, and this man calls himself the Edge. All right, way they go. Edge, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> is that your teddy bear, Tom? That's mine, Pat. Now, let me, cut, let me cut through all the stuff, okay, and get to the tough ones. I mean, forget what kind of tree you want to be. I mean, wipe it out of your mind. <laughs> Why do they call you the Edge Great Guy, huh? Why do you call yourself well, the Edge? Tom, I mean, what the heck, sir? Oh. You know yourself. <laughs> My real name is Johnny Carson, but I just didn't think it would get me. The Edge would have to be. First tour of the States. What do you think of us so far? Do we respond the proper way to your music? Do we like you? Do we, uh, What do you think of us? Well, 
we found that there's, you know, there's, there's not that many people that actually are the typical American. I don't think there's such thing. And that's one thing we found. It's a very big, very big country. It's a continent. It's not a country at all, mm -hmm. you know. Um, people aren't so much into sort of, uh, I don't know, Teddy versus you, but <laughs> we've, uh, you know, I, I like America. We wouldn't be here. I think it's, there's a lot of bands come over here with a very condescending attitude that we're, you know, the greatest gift and we're coming over to the U.S. and they better like it. But we're here because we want to be here, really. So, yeah. They want us to be here anyway. A lot of bands come over from Great Britain. I don't have to go Ireland. through. Okay, now this is, this is a, this is a so band from nice. Ireland. It's the first one in my memory that has come over here with the advanced publicity and okay. has been received as well as you have been here. Is it tough to be an Irish band and get noticed, even in the UK? Do you have, here you have to play New York or LA or Nashville. Right, do, you, do you have to play London there to get recognition? It's, it's the same old problem, really. You know, um, I think it's good, though. The whole business depends on the survival of the fittest. And if you can't, if you can't escape from, whether it's Dublin or Lubbock, Texas, or Iowa, well, then you will not survive um, in, the, in the bigger arenas. So I'm thankful for anything, any of the, the struggle we had to go through to, you know, to get from Dublin to London first, from London to New York to Los Angeles, whatever. Judging by what people have written about these fellows in Newsweek magazine and some of the music publications, we will be hearing a great deal of the U2 in this country in the months and years to come. Congratulations on your tour <laughs> success here Thank the you. first time. Thank you for coming here tonight. I know you're going to come back with another number. Why would you call the album Boy? Why not Girl, Child? I think it's a symbol of, of innocence. It's a symbol of... A beginning, you know, and it's just an introduction to you two. It's it a starting is. off point. All right, good luck to you, fellas. Okay, and thank right. you for being here tonight. The Ed and Bono. Thanks, Bono. We'll continue from New York and Los Angeles right after this. Closing out the night, please welcome back this band from Ireland. Four young guys who are doing so well here in the USA. It's called U2, and this number is called Twilight. Gentlemen, you're on again. <laughs> Yankee pitcher Jim Bowden discusses baseball tomorrow morning on Today.